Hey guys, this is Ron here. Today I'm giving you a quick walkthrough on my new outline brush pack and share some tricks and tips on how to use it. This brush pack includes 27 brushes. These are sorted after the tips. So starting with the round tips, going over the brush pen tips and ending with the extras and pattern brushes. Let's start with the first brush. This is a basic round outline brush with no pressure. Next up we have the round outline brush. This one is pretty similar to the first one, but this one works with pressure sensitivity. Building up on that comes the next brush called round shadow smooth. This one is also a shadow brush, but this shadow is 100% black. Alright, let's get started with the 3D brushes. The first one is the round 3D right. Next up we have the round 3D shadow. Probably my favorite by the way. Building up on that, the round 3D floating, so the shadow is a little bit offset, so it creates this floating like effect. Ending the round tip 3D brushes with the round 3D bottom, which basically has the uh, depth on the bottom side. And the round 3D bottom thin, which has a thinner outline. And the last one of the round 3D brushes is the round 3D texture, which has a textured fill in. We continue with the Feud aka brush tip brushes, starting with the simple Feud outline brush. Next up we have the Feud 3D brush. This one is called Feud 3D Extreme and it has this extreme depth. Just something I played around with and kinda look cool. I also made a floating one for this brush tip called Feud 3D Floating. This one is a little bit different because it has the perspective coming from the left side. And for the two last ones of the few brushes, we have the few texture. And last but not least of the few brushes, we have the few 3D jitter. Next up comes the broad outline brush. And ending the outline brushes, we have the round thin outline. And the few thin outline. Next up I brought back the Schlummer Pinsel. <laughs> um, yeah, this one was in all my brush packs and it's just nice to add details and even highlights but more on that later. Alright, the uh, brush packs is ending with the extras, splatters and pattern brushes but I'll show you these in detail on an example. Alright, now I want to show you some tricks and tips on how to use these brushes. First of all, a little heads up. These brushes are just the outline, so they have no actual fin. And this might be a little bit tricky sometimes to handle, so I'm going to show you some workarounds on this. My first tip is that you can use the shadow or bigger outlines to place your next letter behind it. Another way is to let the outlines interfere and just erase the overlaying one. Next up 
and my last tip might be not the easiest way but it's definitely an option you can consider. You place the second ledger in an extra layer and simply use the fill in feature of Procreate to paint the inner part of the ledger. I also have some tips on how to write single letters using these brushes. If you write an A for example in two separate strokes, the crossbar is interfering with the first stroke. So what you have to do now is to write the letter in one stroke. This might sound a little bit complicated, but it's actually easy to get used to. Almost all the brushes are pressure sensitive, so you can lower the pressure at the end, but without lifting it from the surface and simply go back within the ledger and make the crossbar. Here is a H for example. Make the first stroke, lower the pressure, go back, make the crossbar, lower the pressure again and write the stem of the H. Alright, so far with the tips on single letters, let's talk about how to handle this when you are writing words. In order to keep the same outline, you have to write all in once. This might be a little bit harder, especially for beginners. What you do now is basically the same. You lower the pressure at the end and go all the way back without lifting it from the surface and make the crossbar. While we edit, I show you how I would use the extras and pattern brushes. First of all, we have the Schumer pincer. <laughs> As I already mentioned, I use them for details. However, this brush is also a good option for drawing in highlights. Just a few things for these extra brushes. I made one looking up and one looking down. So place beneath or above your lettering. These are just splatters you can add to your piece to give it a more unique look. I also made some pattern brushes. Um, I show you the bricks pattern first. It was more a spontaneous idea to add these, but they really can spice up your work. And since I'm amazed by half tone patterns, I had to add one as well. Alright, that's it with this brush pack walkthrough. I hope you could get a deeper insight and hope these tips are helping you out with handling these brushes. Feel free to ask if some questions are left open. Thanks for your attention and have a good one.